Hey Cancer, welcome to your mid-July 2017 Tarot Scope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Um, I have pre-shuffled the cards and laid them out for you. Uh, so let's jump right in. At the bottom of the deck, sorry my dog is playing with his toy. <laughs> Shh. Um, I have the Queen of Fire. And this traditionally represents, you know, the overall energy for the reading. Um, it's time to spread your wings and fly, um, be fiery. The queen of fire ushers in a time of being confident, um, intelligent, um, and, and basically not to underestimate yourself and your abilities. Um, I see here in the spread that... Um, You've had some great things um, going on up until, I mean, for the um, coming in, I guess, for this time frame. You have the world at your feet. Um, you've recently had a, an awakening. Um, and the awakening actually, um, you know, kind of calls in a time where you're awakened. Uh, you've changed your perspective, or maybe you need to change your perspective. Um, looking at your long-term goals, your plans. Um, maybe even asking yourself about, you know, a different approach to maybe how you're doing things, because there is a little bit of conflict here. Um, you have the strength card in the past. However, I feel you're kind of coming out of it. I feel like the worst is over. You have the Ten of Swords crossing the awakening. So it's really critical that um, you stay true to yourself. And that's that's this, the biggest message right here of the Queen of Fire. And I apologize if it's a little dark tonight, but I've been wanting to get these readings done. Um, at the top... At, at, Currently, where you are or coming in, ushering in, is, is abundance. Making long-term plans. So the energy is here for you to make these changes. Whatever's going on is kind of meant to be. Um, so I wouldn't let any mental energy consume you. Well, actually, you have one, two, three. You have four major arcana. So that's, that's pretty powerful reading. Um You've had the strength, you have the world at your feet, you have had an awakening. <clears throat> um, but this is all coming out of a time of difficulty, the Ten of Swords. So kudos to you, because whatever hurdle you've been trying to get over, um, you've, you're doing a good job. You're, you're on the right path. Be careful, though, of petty arguments. Um, five of Wands is here. Um, it could be conflict, but petty conflict. Um, I think it's really important that um, you trust yourself and not get caught up in any, any kind of drama and stay focused. Because uh, here, here you are right now in the in the current position is the King of Water. Okay, and that's the King of Cups, that's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So you're showing up in your reading. Um, this also could be somebody coming in to help you as well, because this, this is um, heartfelt advice. This is a trustworthy person, or this is you. Uh, it does, uh, the King of Cups does ask that you keep an open mind. Um, with others as well. So maybe there's a decision um, you're trying to make as you move through this. I don't see the chariot though. So maybe it's not necessarily a decision, but you're striving. Um, maybe this is about... Um, a promotion or um, 
obviously something going on in your life. I read for so many. The general readings are hard because I can't necessarily hone in on the the one thing for the one person. Uh, so I try to keep it pretty general. Uh, you'll know if this resonates with you. <clears throat> and I always also suggest you check out your moon sign and rising as well. You have a second queen um, in the spread, and this is the Queen of Swords, who is pretty feisty. This is um, an energy that um, is extremely independent, um, strong, focused. Um, this is about the mental energy, and this is about, yeah, being right there on pace. This is how. Um, you are actually seen by others. So uh, this also could ask you to have more objective decision making. Um, and maybe this is why you have opened your heart to some changes going back to your awakening. Um, And most importantly with the um, Queen of Swords is to clear away what, what no longer serves you. So this is actually a cleansing um, that's going on for you right now. Um, and I think the message overall is to stay focused, um, clean out what no, no longer serves you, um, and to keep moving forward because the wheel is here, the Wheel of Fortune, and it's a time of positive change. And based on these other cards, it's mo definitely moving in the right direction for you. The wheel of life is constantly turning and um, definitely ushers a time in for positive change. How other, others see you is the Knight of Water, so you have another Cups card here. And he, uh, the Knight usually brings in messages as well. Um, I think this is about balancing your emotions. So there's some emotion here um, through this shift and change. Hope is here for you. Just know whatever is going on for you right now, it is going to um, candle them out. The wick is too small. Um, it's going to bring in a time uh, of positive change. Let's um, just pull you some clarifiers on the outcome card. Because I'm curious myself. <clears throat> you definitely have the strength to continue making these changes. Just stay out of the drama. Do some cleansing. Um, open your heart and I know sometimes it's not easy but uh, that's why these readings kind of help uh, to give insight um, sometimes we can't see um, or understand the change this is actually a destined change for you I'm, uh, destiny I, I the word I'm trying to say I'm sorry I'm a little tired <laughs> Right. Oh, your outcome card. The cancer, cancer, cancer. Just do one more. Outcome card. <sighs> Two of Pentacles. So it does look like you might have to make a decision. Here's the Eight of Swords where you feel trapped, but this is your own in your own head. This is your own emotion. And the Eight of Pentacles. So the message here is to continue working. You will have to make a decision. There will be some additional struggles maybe for you to um, You know, continue on this journey, but I think you're you're moving in the right direction. Um, and clearly, you need to work a little harder. This could be about a promotion or a job or a job interview. Um, this could be 
your home business as well. Although I don't, there's no money issues. This is definitely a personal journey. Um, I would definitely take off the blindfold because you could get out of these ropes. See, her hands are free. So a lot of this is mental energy. Don't feel like you're trapped. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's any other messages coming in for you. Um, I'm going to pull you a... going to do, let's do a, a wisdom for healing card since your reading is, um, I feel, um, resonating in a time of personal growth and shift and change. So let's see what this has to say. card for cancer mid July 2017 what is the message for cancer mid July <coughs> 2017 see the good in everything And I'm just going to read the back. Today's lesson. This is a day for optimism only. No matter what comes your way, your task is to see only the favorable attributes in it. Your goal, to practice the power of positive thinking. So this kind of does go back to maybe looking at things with a new perspective, reevaluating your goals, um, shifting and making change. Uh, because the, the potential is here. You have the world at your feet. You have the three of wands coming in. Um, and this is things looking up. Positive change, abundance, and making long-term goals. So you're doing this. This is not like it's in the past. So you have the power to do this. I'm going to also pull you a guardian angel card as well. These cards. Okay. What is the message for Cancer? Mid July 2017. What is the messages for Cancer? July 2017. Just gonna cut. Seven of emotion. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you'll <clears throat> know what it is and what choice you should make, but you're procrastinating, so don't upset s someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So this makes sense as well. So maybe the awakening is a forced awakening because maybe you've been putting off, um, obviously making some changes that we saw here earlier as your for your outcome. And sometimes the universe, um, when we don't make the changes, they force the change um, by creating cer certain circumstances in our lives to get our attention to to make the change to keep you on on your destiny on your path. Um, and sometimes things don't shake out the way like we thought it would be. Um, but everything is a lesson in life. So think about it. I hope this resonated and helped you, Cancer. Um, I want to wish you the best for the rest of July. I will be doing monthly um, overall readings and mid-month moving forward. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, I really appreciate any comments. Um, and your support. I'm kind of new at um, 
doing the uh, YouTube, um, but I wanted to share my insight more and more with everybody. So um, again, thank you for your support and I'll see you in, oh, and I'm also available for private reading. <laughs> Sorry. If, um, if you're interested and my, you can find information on my website, the link is below. Thank you so much. Take care.